All right, Joe Oaks here with Hanks' Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And today we've got our newest addition to our inventory, and this being a 1972 Chevrolet Nova here. Now, first thing you're going to notice is the big hood here. Now, I do want to point out this is a steel hood, um, but it fits this car really, really good. All the gaps and elevations look good. We'll see that, too, from the front side whenever we get there. But again, it is an all-steel hood. 4-inch pal induction, but it fits real nice. Um, so again, what I always like to do is I'll start with looking down the side of the car. That way I can kind of point out to you exactly if this thing's straight, if all the elevations line up the whole way down the side of the car. And as I look this car down the side, I can tell you that it is very straight down the side. Our fenders, our door, and our quarter panel back there are all in alignment with one another. Uh, elevations are real good on that door where it meets the fender and where it meets that quarter panel back there. So again, the whole side of this car on the driver's side looks really good. Uh, now this car has the chrome bumpers front and rear. We've also got the 350 emblems up here on the front fender on both sides. Uh, now this particular car, when we bought it, they elected to go without the wheel lip moldings just to give it that nice clean look. So again, you'll see no chrome wheel lip moldings or brake moldings there. Um, tires on the front, 235 60R15s, and these are mounted on 15 inch Kreger SS mag wheels. And the chrome finish on these wheels, very, very nice. There's no pinning, there's no marks on any of these. They look practically brand new. They look really, really good. As we walk our way back, we're going to stop here at the door at the front here. We're going to take a look at our gaps here. We'll take a look at our front gap, as well as the gap on the back side of the door here. And you can see that those gaps very uniform front to rear. So again, you can tell that that door has been adjusted really nice front to back, as well as in and out with those elevations lining up with the fenders and the quarter panels. Our, our car that we have here has both bullet style mirrors, both sides here, chrome mirrors on the driver and the passenger side. And those are manually operated mirrors. They're not remote mount, but they're real nice condition here. All of the bright molding up around the, the side windows here and your quarter windows all looks really good, nice and straight, polished up really nice. And on this particular car where we normally have the polished up drip rail moldings, this car, they've been painted on the same color as the car. So again, they look good. And then I also look down the channel here, your drip rail channel here, and you can tell that everything's been finished off real nice. I don't see any cracks or anything like that in any of that uh, the whole way along that drip rail molding. Uh, glass looks good here, what we have. I'm going to open our door up. Just take a quick peek inside as we'll get to this more in depth here in just a little bit. But you can see our blue exterior here continues its way into the inside of the car here as well. All of our seals and weather stripping around the door look to be in really good shape. There's no, no uh, cracks or no tears or chunks torn out of it. Looks like it's been really well taken care of. Door panels look good. Our seat upholstery looks real good in here too. Carpeting, dash, all of that looks really good. Again, like I said, we will take a better look at that here in just a little bit. Our door shuts real nice and easy. Good solid dud there, so again, you know it's latched properly. And now as we walk towards the back of our car now, again, I've already mentioned that the body looks real nice and straight the whole way down the sides. There are no wheel lip moldings. Now our rear tires, a little different size here. We've got a 255 60R15 on the back, just to give it a little difference in rake. But again, mounted on those 15 inch Krager SS mag wheels, they look really, really nice. All right, now that we're around the back side of our 72 Nova here, we'll take a look inside the trunk, around the back here, and then we'll close the lid and show you the outside portion of the trunk lid here. Um, now again, what you see inside here, we've got that same blue exterior paint as what you see on the outside. Again, it looks like it's been all polished. It's nice and smooth and shiny on the inside. Our trunk floor itself is in really good condition on this car. All one piece floor, there's no patching. All of your plugs, your drain plugs are all in place in here. And it's been finished off with the correct black and aqua trunk spatter paint in here as well. 
Now there is no spare, um, no jack or anything in this trunk here. Just real nice and clean. Looks like there is an amp back here, just a small amp for the stereo in here. So that's mounted up real nice to the back there. Got a couple of speakers I see in that package tray underneath. So again, you've got some music that you can listen to while you're out on your, your cruises there. All the weather stripping and seals around that trunk, you can see look very good. They're all, uh, all adhesive down. They, they look like they're in, in good shape. There's no cracks, no chips, or anything like that. No chunks taken out of them. And they come together right in the center here as they should. So again, sealing up from the elements outside should not be an issue with this trunk. Again, everything looks to be super nice and dry inside here. Now we'll go ahead and close our trunk up and then we'll take a look at our back glass here and our moldings here. The moldings around the window, those bright moldings, those look to be in good shape, nice and straight, polished up very nice. The back glass looks to have just a slight tint to it uh, and there's no cracks or chips in that glass that I can see. Uh, our paint's still all the same. It's got the white stripes on it. And by the way, the stripes on this car look like they have been painted and then everything's been cleared over. So that's been done very nicely. And our gaps in elevation around this trunk lid. Gaps side to side look very uniform. And again, everything up around the top and around the back side here looks to fit really, really nice on this particular car. Of course, our tail panel back here, we've got our tail lights here. The lenses in those look to be fairly new. There's no cracks or chips in any of those. And then our tail light bezels, the bright work around those tail lights, look to be in excellent shape too. And you can see the seals underneath those too. Those all look to be in really good shape on both sides here. Also, again, we've got that big chrome rear bumper back here that matches the front. Again, the chrome finish is really, really nice in this particular car. So again, everything looks good. We've even got that Nova emblem back here on the trunk lid that actually lets everybody know exactly what you've got. So Okay, now that we're here on the passenger side, same thing that I always do over on the other side of the car. I'm going to look right up the side of this car here, take a look at quarter panel in relation to the door and in relation to that front fender, make sure that our door adjustment is in line with everything and it is on this side as well as what it was over on the other side. So again, nice and straight down the side. There is no waviness in the bodywork whatsoever on this car. The paint's finished up very nice, smooth and shiny the whole way down. And again, that door has been adjusted. The elevations look really, really good on that door as far as the quarter and the fender are concerned. Again, like I said, we've gone ahead and uh, we do not have those wheel lip moldings on this car. There's 15 inch Krager wheels, the 255 60R15 tires on the back. Again, the molding, the drip rail molding on this car has been painted. And as I look in the channel here, everything looks to be in good shape. I don't see any cracks or anything in the finish. So that's really nice. And our bright moldings here around our glass on the side here look to be really nice, straight, polished really good. Again, in nice condition here. Even the rubbers around that vent window, very nice. And again, I've already mentioned we've got the mirrors on both sides, both passenger and over on the driver's side as well. Now our gaps on this door here, you can see those gaps on the back side as well as over here on the front side here. Again, those gaps look very good on this door, so it's been adjusted both front to back and in and out on it for your elevations to look really good. Again, like we do all the time, we just open up this door here, take a quick peek inside here. Door panels look great. There's weather stripping around the door. The whole way around looks in really good shape. And again, our same blue exterior paint continues its way onto the inside of our car here as well. Threshold plates look good too in this car. So uh, again, we're gonna get to that a little bit later when we get to the interior. We'll keep on moving here up to the front fender where you'll find our matching 350 emblem up here. Again, our side marker lights too, the bezels around those and all the lenses on these are in excellent shape too. All right, now here we are now. We finally made the whole way around our car here. We've got the front end of our 72 Nova here now looking at us right now at the camera. So again, headlights on this particular car, 
just your traditional sealed beam headlight. So you've got your high and lows all right here, all in one unit. Glass lenses and the glass in those is in excellent condition. There's no chips or cracks in that glass. The bezels around those headlights are in good shape too. They're all screwed in and placed like they should be. All of our grill work and trim work also in very good condition on this car. Grill is all intact. There's no pieces broken out of it. Again, good solid grill work. Nice chrome finish on this front bumper here as well. And of course down below we've got our parking and uh, marker lights down here. Those lenses, the amber lenses on those, those are in excellent shape too. There's no cracks or any chips in any of those uh, on either side. So those are in really good shape. Again, I mentioned this hood already. This is an all steel hood, uh, four inch cowl hood on this particular car. The gaps side to side on this thing are very uniform. Elevations look really good on this as compared to your fenders, the height of the top of those. And again, these white stripes have been painted on and they have, everything's been all cleared over then once everything's been painted. So everything looks really good. We're gonna go ahead and open our hood up now. And there we go. And here we go, we've got blue paint, the same as what's on the exterior of our car. We've got that continued on the underside of our hood here as well. All the hood insulation looks to be in good shape here. Um, just one spot that I see here, looks like it might have got punctured, but everything else looks good. It's tucked up in where it should be. You've got the reveal here underneath the hood for your air cleaner to go up into if it actually protrudes up that high. Uh, as far as the engine goes, this is a non-original motor. It's a uh, GM crate motor. It's a later crate. It's got the Vortec heads on it. In this particular motor, we've got a chrome air cleaner cover on it. The chrome valve covers for those Vortec heads also. We do have a reusable style air filter here. I'm not sure if that's a K&N or maybe a Spectre air filter, but it's a reusable style air cleaner, uh, air filter element. Uh, underneath that, we've got an Edelbrock 1406 carburetor. Uh, that's a single feed carburetor with an electric choke and I believe 600 CFM is what the rating is on that car. Got an aluminum intake here uh, just to help deliver that fuel a little bit better here. Got a set of ceramic coat headers also, long tube headers to get it to breathe a lot better too. Now as far as the ignition goes, um, it does have an HEI distributor in it. They have upgraded the wires. We've got a set of Excel Super Stock wires in here. So again, that's gonna help deliver a little better spark to it. You can see that they've done the stainless braided treatment to some of the lines and hoses in here. So your top radiator hose and your heater lines, they have that stainless braided line on there. And again, it just, it makes that line stronger too. It prevents it from blow up. Power brakes on this car, this is disc brake up front, drum on the rear, the front rotors are drilled and slotted, so that's going to make braking a lot more efficient for you, uh, a lot more performance out of there. Power steering on this car too, so it's going to drive around effortlessly for you. Uh, and then as far as uh, fuel uh, delivery, we just had the standard mechanical fuel pump. And as far as cooling, we've got an upgraded aluminum radiator here. This is a Champion aluminum radiator. It's going to help cool this motor a lot more so. Um, small blocks don't typically need a little bit, need any help pulling them down. They usually stay pretty cool. But again, it never hurts to have a nice uh, lightweight aluminum radiator in here, which that's what you've got. You've got the stock style shroud on here, and then we also have a six blade fan in here too to help pull that uh, radiator the antifreeze inside there. Everything looks good under here though. Fender wells look nice. The cowl's been painted that same blue color as the exterior of the car. Uh, we've got this nice little chrome dress-up piece across the top of our radiator. And then our core support looks to be in good shape too. We also have mounted up front here, we've got a, a, a transmission cooler. So again, that's going to help cool those fluids in that transmission so you don't have any slippage or anything like that while you're out cruising around. Other than that, uh, uh, we have uh, our underside yet to go out over on this car, so we'll address the transmission, the rear end, and some of the suspension and steering components when we get to that. But for right now, we're going to close this up. We're going to go inside and take a closer look at that interior now.
All right, now that we're seated inside our 72 Nova here, we'll take a look at our interior now. Starting out with the door panels. Our door panels are in really good shape there. You can see black vinyl, everything here. We got a little bit of wood grain trim on those door panels just to help set things off a little bit. But you can see they're anchored real good down along the bottoms there. There's no tears or no rips or anything like that in any of the door panels. They look great. Continuing on to our dash here. That dash pad itself looks great. Looks like it may have been new at one time, fairly soon or fairly um, you know, not too long ago. There's no cracks or anything like that. It's nice and soft. You can still feel that. And the finish is really nice on that. As far as the instrumentation on the dash, it's all the factory instrumentation. So you've got your fuel gauge over there and then you also have a 120 mile an hour speedometer over there. Um, those are intact and those are functioning. Um, you've got the factory style heater controls in here too. Um, now you see that this car is a column shift. So that's it's an automatic car, obviously, turbo 350, but yes, it retains the column shift. We've even got the front bench seat in here too, complete with the headrest in here also. The seat upholstery in this car looks great, as a matter of fact. Matching upholstery both on the front and the rear seats, everything looks great. We've got front and rear seat belts also, so again, you can get in this car, you can put your family members, uh, if you have children, put them in the back and they're going to be safe when they get belted up there too. Uh, steering wheel, we've got an aftermarket, looks like a Grant sports style steering wheel here in this car. And then we have a Kenwood AM FM CD player in this car as well. Uh, also, uh, along with that CD player, we've got speakers located down here in the kick panels. Uh, I mentioned when we were doing our trunk video that uh, we've got an amp back there and we've got a couple of it looks like 6x9 speakers back in that rear package tray also. So should have some you know decent sound there for some tunes if you want to while you're cruising. As far as the headliner goes, headliner is in excellent shape. There's no holes, no tears in it. It's tied up nice and tight the whole way throughout here. Got our dome light here in the center intact. Um, it looks like we have even the shoulder harness belts for this car all tied up along the side there of the headliner there. Even the sail panels in the back in here, the upholstery is nice and tight on those and those are in place. Uh, they're not, uh, not falling out. They're, in, they're installed really nice back there. Uh, again, on our door panels we saw the wood trim. We have that same wood trim back here on the panels in the back seat area here. Carpeting in this car is in excellent shape. Nice and black. There's no tears or holes in it. I see no no signs of really any wear, so they probably have replaced the uh, carpeting in this car at one time, uh, and it looks great. Um, the only other things really to go over on this car is the fact that they have installed a few aftermarket gauges. Again, that's just so they can monitor things a little closer under the hood here. Uh, things like your water temperature, your oil pressure and your voltmeter. Again, all things that are you know really important if you're going to be out driving this car. Uh, you want to make sure that the battery is charging, make sure the water temperature doesn't get too hot, which again having an aluminum radiator I don't think you're going to have that issue. And then again you've got your oil pressure which we all know that's very important too. So, Alright, we've got our 72 Nova here up on the lift now so we're going to run through the underside here point out to you exactly what we see underneath here and uh, then as we always do we'll get it down off the lift and then fire that engine for you. Uh, as far as the underside goes we'll start up here at the front talk about the front suspension here real quick. Uh, it's all standard stock style suspension up here. Um, we do have a front sway bar here that's going to tie those two front corners together help it whenever you're in the corners and so forth uh, steer a lot better there for you. It's got your stock stamped uh, steel components here as far as your lower control arms and your upper A arms. All of the ball joints, both top and lower ball joints on your A arms there, those look good and you can tell that they've been greased and kept maintained very well. Um, shocks look to be fairly new on the front of this. Springs look really good. Sway bar end links look really good on this car as well. As far as our steering, we do have power steering on this car. Our drag length here in the center looks good. Tie rods, ball joints on the tie rods on both of them. 
look really good. Again, two little rubber dust boots. Those are all intact. They're not cracked. So again, maintained and greased up. So it's going to keep that grease in, keep any dirt and debris out that could possibly damage those. Uh, and as far as braking up front, we do have power disc brakes on this vehicle. Just GM components though, so you can go any advanced auto parts or any auto parts store for that matter and buy replacement components for this whenever you need to. Um, as far as driveline goes up here, we do have the small block GM crate motor here with those modern uh, Vortec heads. Uh, that is backed up by a turbo 350 automatic transmission. Now our transmission does have the flywheel cover, so that's going to protect that from getting any teeth chipped off of it, any road debris coming up in that could cause any premature failure there. And you can see it's got this nice chrome fin uh, transmission oil pan here too, just to add a little bit of looks to the underside of the car. Transmission cross member here is in excellent shape, nice and straight. The actual tail shaft mount here is in great shape too on it. Uh, speedo cable all hooked up. Uh, you can see our headers, our exhaust system here hanging down. These are long tube headers of course. Uh, you've got the X pipes set up here and it looks like the company name on that is Pipes. That's P-Y-P-E-S. And again, coming back into the dual Flowmaster mufflers here and then exiting out through the dual tailpipes which go up over top of the rear end and out the rear of the car as they should. As far as the frame goes, we have our subframe up here. That looks to be in really good shape. It's nice and straight. It hasn't been banged in anywhere. I can see our body mount bushings up in here too. Those look great. They're not smashed, they're not cracked or dry rotted, anything like that. They look great. You can see that our car here has the bolt-in frame connectors here too to help add some strength underneath this car for the frame support. And then of course the floors on this thing look really nice too. All solid, all you know, complete floors here. The correct metal, um, you can see all the stampings and everything. So it looks great underneath here. Even our rocker panels, uh, our pinch welds here along the sides of the rockers here too on both sides look really good. Uh, fuel and brake lines underneath the car look great. They run nice. They've got that spiral wrapping around them to prevent against any kinking or when there's any kind of a, you know, a sharper bend in those lines. Um, and then as far as uh, emergency brakes, these are hooked up on this car. You can see all of the correct hardware here in the frame mounts. Got your J hook here, got your intermediate cable wrapped around here back to the rear uh, cables that go to your drum brakes on the rear uh, and again so that's all hooked up. As far as to finish out the drive line on this car we've got a GM 10 bolt posi unit here. This is the 8.2 inch ring gear as far as suspension on the back, multi-leaf rear suspension, new shocks on the back end you can see those real good there and then as far as the trunk goes the floor that I can see up underneath here is in excellent shape good solid one piece trunk floor our uh, fuel tank back here looks to be fairly new they've got it all painted black underneath here to match up but again you won't see any dents or dings in the fuel tank all of your mounting hardware your straps uh, bolts everything that holds that in in place are all very good condition. Like I said, tailpipes on this car going out through the back of the car. Everything looks really good. And then you have a chrome differential cover back here too, just again, just to kind of add a little bit of flash and flare to the underside of the car.